Minecraft Hardcore, but I have the perfect pickaxe. This pickaxe has the best enchantments possible in Minecraft. With Fortune a million, you can get lots and lots of diamonds. And the efficiency means that blocks can now be mined instantly. This pickaxe will never break, but just in case, it has mending on it as well. So today, we're going to test out this OP tool. How rich can it make you? How quickly can you destroy an entire chunk? And can it defeat Bedrock? The strongest block of them all. Well, that's what we're going to find out. And it made me for 2 million subscribers this year, so if you enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe. Here we are in the world, and once we finish mining this tree up, we can then begin the quest for some iron. I'll tell you what I'd like to know, what on earth is a tree doing growing in a ravine? Pretty sure I can make this jump at least. You just never know where trees are going to pop up nowadays. Even in a harsh environment like this ravine, it's still surviving. So in order to get hold of this pickaxe, we are first going to need to get a pickaxe that is the strongest material. And that is a netherite pickaxe. Because let's be honest, if we only had a diamond pickaxe, it wouldn't be the perfect pickaxe then, would it? And then with all the fancy enchantments on, it's going to be unstoppable. Let's replant this tree. <laughs> it's going to be following in the footsteps. I wouldn't normally spend a load of time getting full iron gear, but since we are on hardcore mode and we need to go to the nether, it's probably going to be the safest option. There we go. I have to say I've got quite a lot of iron. Might as well make the smithing table now for the netherite. Now I can craft a bunch of armor. There we go. Put it all on. Now I can gather up all of these things, get myself out of here and begin the next task, which is to get some food. Preferably before it goes dark, although I've not got much time left. Quickly grab this gravel. There we go, got flint. I am running past quite a lot of animals, but my priority is these guys. Let's quickly do some shearing. I don't really want to stay up the night. Just need one more piece of wool. Craft a bed and go to sleep. And now I can begin cooking my food. I have 24 pieces of food, that should be enough. But I'm also going to grab a few dandelions for good measure. Since I am going to be searching for netherite, I feel like getting some wool is a good idea too. I've got plenty of wool, I've got plenty of wood. Time to head down one of these caves. And this to me... It's a pretty amazing looking cave. Okay, don't set yourself on fire, Esprit. As I was saying, it's a pretty amazing looking cave. In fact, it goes right down to diamond level. I think it would be a smart move to make a shield sooner rather than later as well. The ravine doesn't really go anywhere, so we're going to have to do the old strip mining. Oh, what? Whoa! That was crazy! I literally mined three blocks and there was diamonds. Please tell me it's more than one. It's not one, it's two. Oh, it's beautiful. It's loads and loads of diamonds. With six diamonds, I can easily make a diamond pickaxe. I'm going to save those other three diamonds for later, just in case. Since I don't want the pickaxe to break while I'm searching for netherite. Since I couldn't find any lava, I'm having to manually make the portal. Thankfully, with a diamond pickaxe, it doesn't take too long. All right, we have spawned in one of the worst biomes ever, never coming back here again. Originally, there was just one plan, and that was to find netherite. But now there's also another plan to, to not die. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. I'm going to do a fancy little trick here where the boat is on fire, which allows you to float a bit further. Now let's just carefully make our way along. I basically just want to keep traveling until I get out of this biome. Although gold ore is going to be something useful. The reason for that is that strip mining in a basalt delta is always an absolute nightmare because you're always going through basalt. You're also having to mine through blackstone. This has been a very stressful journey. But finally, there's another biome in sight. Now I can actually start to mine for netherite without fearing for my life. I'm also going to keep collecting gold when I find it, since you need those to make netherite ingots. Now let's begin the bed blowing up strategies. I've also heard from research that using the bed twice in the same place actually reveals a load more blocks really quickly. Although whether that's a worthwhile strategy, I have no idea. Now, oh, look at that. A, a double bed strategy and it revealed some that wasn't revealed before. Ancient debris piece number one. Here we come. Looks like it's one down at three to go. Oh, look at this. A bit of mining and it's now two to go. Make that one to go. And that's the final piece of ancient debris successfully located. I've never tried the double bed method before, but it works pretty well. <laughs> Turns out that revealed too, or I missed this one at some point. There's even more ancient debris. I don't even think I need this. Now we can get out of this destructive place that we've created. I can begin smelting the ancient debris. Place down my smithing table. And now with my four netherite scrap, we can make a netherite ingot. And I think for this, I want to make a brand new diamond pickaxe. And create a brand new netherite pickaxe that when crafted, will be the perfect pickaxe. There we go. And look at that fortune level a million efficiency level a million mending a million and unbreaking a million you know how powerful this thing is yeah pretty powerful but that's only netherrack i think we need to use this on some diamonds i want to see just how many diamonds we get how fast we can mine them it's also worth saying that whilst it does say level a million on all of those enchantments it is still only the equivalent of level 32767 and that is because without mods you cannot get enchantment levels larger than that number can you imagine if i died now after getting this amazing pickaxe i'm very glad to be back at my portal after that adventure now we can test out the true power of this pickaxe i'll be honest with you guys 
it's pretty fast. I've decided that now is the time I want to begin the very long process of mining out an entire chunk. And this is the chunk that I shall mine. Obviously, this is still going to take a long time, but I'll time myself and see just how long it takes me and let you know. I'm now 28 minutes in and I am getting pretty close to the bottom. If I'd had an efficiency 5 shovel, I probably would have been done by now, to be honest. Whilst the shovel is quite slow, the pickaxe just mines so, so fast. You know, I'm starting to get worried that there isn't a single diamond in this entire chunk. And believe me, <laughs> I've looked. Oh, I found diamonds, finally! Right near the end, right down at bedrock, there are some diamonds. Unfortunately, I have to get rid of this lava to get to them. And there we have it, after 41 minutes, I have successfully mined out an entire chunk in Minecraft. Except for these diamonds. Let's see how many we get with Fortune a Million. How many do you reckon? Okay, that is a lot of diamonds. How many to be exact? We are about to find out. Are you ready for the grim reveal, guys? Well, before I do that, can this perfect pickaxe break bedrock? Well, unfortunately, no. It doesn't matter how much haste or efficiency you've got. You can't break bedrock. That's because the hardness of bedrock is minus one. But here we go. Look at all those diamonds. I can make loads and loads of blocks of diamond. Oh, look at that. Might as well upgrade my armor. Diamond tools would be nice as well. One thing I do want to check out this pickaxe on is obsidian. Can you imagine if it insta mines obsidian? How fast would that be? So my plan is to go to the end and completely destroy an obsidian pillar. Which normally would take hours and hours, but I don't think it'll take long with this pickaxe. So it is time I built another nether portal. This time the good old fashioned speed run away. I'm sad to say it's taken me straight back to this basalt delta. Mission to find a fortress has been successful. Let's go in and oh, <laughs> as we're saying, let's go in and get those blaze rods. That is all the blaze rods that I need. You know, I could really do with some gold now. This looks like it should just about be enough. Yeah, definitely will be enough. I don't know how many ingots this is worth, but it's well over a stack. Yeah, I've just got over three stacks of gold. That should get me the pearls. Let me tell you now, good sir, this is your lucky day, okay? You're never going to have more gold in your entire life. Let's encase him in a nice little diamond area. Only the best for you, sir. Don't you go in there. You'll just upset him. Prepare to be spleefed, pigman. Well, mission to get pearls has been accomplished. I finally got enough pearls and all the obsidian that I need. So let's get this portal built and go to the stronghold. I don't know why it had to spawn me in the middle of the ocean. There's perfectly good land over there. Although it might be a good idea to sleep with uh, with all those monsters about. According to the eye, we're going that way. Very convenient that there's a village on the way. I might as well steal a load of their beds. And just in case one village wasn't enough, there's another one over there. Since I'm so powerful, I... Might just destroy this guy's house. Yeah, I, I kind of feel sorry for whoever's sleeping there tonight. Here we have a useless blacksmith with useless stuff. Oh my goodness, another villager. <laughs> this desert is full of them. Pretty sure this is the spot. Yeah, look at that. The eye's going straight down. Now you have to be careful when digging down with this pickaxe because you, you will take fall damage if you do too many at once. I accidentally dug past it. <laughs> yeah, just work my way back up. Alrighty, now we can just work our way through this stronghold. We don't have to worry about going through doors. We just, we just mine our way along. What do we have down here? Nothing much. This is just giving me slowness. If the creeper blows up, Look at that, it creates lingering slowness. That's a pretty cool feature. At least it gave myself poison for 30 seconds to see that. Was it worth it? Probably not. And now I'm on three hearts and officially out of food. I'm making an emergency trip to the village. And I take back what I said about this being a useless chest. I'm going to steal all their wheat. Now it was nothing but a minor setback. The good news is the portal room has been found. The bad news is there's a stupid ravine between it. I've never seen a stronghold generate like this before. Let's get rid of this. Didn't take me very long. Fill up the eyes of Ender and head on through. I guess we can first see this pickaxe against endstone. Yeah, very powerful. But obsidian. Can it insta mine obsidian? Well, there's only one way to find out. Oh my goodness, yes it can. There is nothing that can stop this pickaxe. Other than bedrock, I suppose. Only creative can defeat bedrock. Now this is how you work your way up to an end crystal. Destroy it. Perfect. The dragon is coming after me. Let's jump on down. Set up this little thing here. And I think it's perching already. I might actually screw this up, but I'll do my best. Oh, no, wait. I... Okay, I'm going to screw this up, guys. I'm telling you now. If I pull this off, I don't know how I'm doing this. Look at that. <laughs> the quick inventory movements. Well, we beat Minecraft with the perfect pickaxe. 